Today we are going to do BJT applications. We will assemble four different circuits with transistors. Simple transistor switch, improved transistor switch. We will simulate the function of OR gate using transistors and we will construct an LED flasher circuit. A simple transistor switch needs these components transistor 2 and 3904 resistors 10 kilo ohm and 1 kilo ohm 1 each a potentiometer 10 kilo ohms red LED 1 DC power supply set to 12 volts digital multimeter hookup wires and jumper cables DC power supply is set to 12 volts and DMM is set in voltmeter position millivolts DC it shows this is a simple transistor switch this is 2N3904 the base gets a 10 kilo ohm resistance the other end of 10 kilo ohm resistance goes to the second or the middle end of the potentiometer now the third end goes to the ground and first end of the potentiometer is going to get 12 volts DC from the collector emitter side when you see collector is getting the negative of the red LED positive of the red LED is connected to 1 kilo ohm resistance and the other end of 1 kilo ohm resistance goes to 12 volt supply the emitter is grounded measure R1 and R2 R1 is 10 kilo ohm the measured value from DMM is 10.07 kilo ohms R2 is 1 and it has measured exactly 1 kilo ohm transistor emitter is grounded the collector is getting the negative of LED positive of the LED gets 1 kilo ohm resistance the other end of the resistor goes to the power supply positive from the base I have connected 10 kilo ohm resistance and I have connected to the center of the potentiometer one end of the potentiometer is grounded and the other end the other end of the potentiometer goes to the supply after hooking up the circuit adjust the potentiometer to see if the LED lights up at any point and if it switches off I am going to test it it's on now and I'll put the potentiometer all the way to the other side now it switches off therefore the circuit is working now we are going to do the measurements for the tables now we are going to do readings for table 5.2 uh, we are going to measure V in V out and voltage across R2 LED should be initially off and then we are going to switch on the LED by adjusting the position of the potentiometer V in is between the middle of your potentiometer and the other end the third end of the potentiometer V out is from the collector to ground now I am trying to measure V in between the center of the potentiometer and the third end of the potentiometer it is showing me 1.22 millivolts I am noting at this point 1.22 millivolts V out is between the collector and the third end of the potentiometer with the LED off I read 10.72 volts now voltage across R2 voltage across R2 is measured it shows me 0 0.01 millivolts and I have noted it in my table here voltage across R2 now the LED is on I took the potentiometer all the way to the other side now I measure V in between the center of the potentiometer and the third end and it is showing me 11.77 volts this is my output voltage I am seeing between the collector and the third end of the or the ground of my circuit it is showing me some 
94.56 millivolts this also I would record it under V out voltage across R2 is 10.17 volts when LED is off voltage across R2 is 0.02 millivolts when LED is on voltage across R2 is 10.14 volts now LED is off when the transistor is in cutoff state because it doesn't get enough base current to switch on when the LED is on we can say that the transistor is in saturation state and it gets sufficient current at the base to switch on. Both of these are happening by adjusting the potentiometer. When the resistance of the potentiometer is kept so high, the transistor is not able to switch on and it is in the cutoff state. When the resistance on the potentiometer is reduced to nearly zero, the transistor is switching on and it is going to saturation state the LED is glowing I am trying to measure the current at the collector with LED off and on I have disconnected the circuit at the collector I have connected the ammeter in series and I measure the current it's 0 milliampere when the LED is off I adjusted the potentiometer so that the LED is on I am going to read the current now. The current is 10.15 milliamperes. Now we are done with simple transistor switch. I am going to connect improved transistor switch now. For an improved transistor switch, the components required are transistor 2N3904, two pieces, resistors 10 kilo ohm and 1 kilo ohm potentiometer 10 kilo ohm, red LED 1, DC power supply set to 12 volts, digital multimeter, some hookup wires and jumper cables. The circuit diagram for an improved transistor switch is here. It consists of two transistors for lighting up one LED. We are going to assemble it now. The LED is off. I am measuring Vn between the center of the potentiometer and negative. It is reading 11.99 volts. I am going to note it. Now I am going to measure VCE1 which is in parallel across the base and emitter of the second transistor. This is giving me 32.7 millivolts. Now is VCE2, this is between the collector and emitter of the second transistor, this is reading 10.73 volts. Now I am moving the potentiometer to make the LED on, ok. Now at this position LED is on but I should not go there, I should go to the point before the LED switches on like this. Now I am going to do measurements, this is going to give me threshold voltages. The first measurement is between the center of the potentiometer and ground. This is my V in. It is giving me 0 0.68 volts. This is my VCE1 188.7 point something in millivolts so I could just approximate it because it is in millivolts so 190 millivolts I could approximate now the VCE2 voltage is between the collector and emitter of the second transistor this is giving me 10.72 volts now the LED is off I am going to turn it on I have taken it to the other side uh, the potentiometer now I am going to do the readings I am measuring the input voltage between the center of the potentiometer and the negative it is giving me 1.51 millivolts next is VCE1 between these two ends 
this is giving me 0.74 volts next is between the collector and emitter of the second transistor VCE2 this is giving me 69.53 millivolts I have recorded the values in this table about the operating conditions of Q1 transistor 1 and transistor 2 is like this when LED is off transistor 1 is in saturation transistor 2 is in cutoff when we have taken the potentiometer to a position nearest to the glowing position of the LED transistor 1 is very close to cutoff it is not cutoff still so we say it as active region transistor 2 is very close to saturation but it has not saturated therefore the LED is off we also say this as active region now when the LED is fully on transistor 1 is in cutoff state transistor 2 is in saturation state we are done with the improved transistor switch we are going to assemble OR gate using BJT for building an OR gate using BJT the components required are transistor 2N3904 resistors 330 ohms and 220 ohms red LED DC power supply set to 5 volts digital multimeter some hookup wires and jumper cables we are going to build OR gate with transistors the circuit is here you are going to use 2N3904 transistors and you are going to use the resistors as shown in the diagram you are going to have an LED connected the inputs and outputs of an OR gate are like this OR gate is a logic circuit going to produce an output like this A plus B function when A is 0 and B is 0 the output is 0 meaning that the LED wouldn't glow when any of the inputs is high that is when they are closed the output is going to be high making the LED glow the OR gate circuitry is here A is applied to the circuit through the red wire B is applied through the black wire I have applied the power between these two ends I have selected plus 5 volt source the positive is here negative is here when I connect this wire representing A to the power supply line the LED is on when I connect this B also to power supply line I am applying 1 and 1 to the inputs now if I apply 1 to the A input 0 to the B input it's still glowing when I apply when I interchange the wires A0 B1 then again the LED is glowing when I connect both of them to the ground line representing zeros my LED is not working we are going to do the readings for the table now I am going to show where to connect for getting the reading for VA and VB when A and B both are connected to ground line that is both are open I am going to connect positive of my voltmeter to point A and negative of my voltmeter to the ground line the meter reads approximately 0 volts therefore when both A and B are open I am going to get approximately 0 volts for VA and approximately 0 for VB I have closed switch A I have opened switch B means what I have connected A to supply and B to ground it's here A is connected to supply and B is connected to ground now I am measuring VA VA is going to show me 4.92 volts I am just noting it in the table 
we are going to take readings for keeping both of them on the power line and keeping one on the ground line and the other on the power line measure the voltages and note in this table now vy the output voltage is going to be 4.91 here some of these two voltages in here since it's a logic function 4.91 in either of the inputs would produce an output of 4.91 volts i have noted it here for dual led flasher again you need two n3904 transistors 10 kilo ohm and 330 ohm resistors electrolytic capacitors 100 microfarad to red led 1 green led 1 power supply set to 6 volts hook up wires and jumper cables you are going to hook up dual led flasher the circuit diagram is here you are going to use two transistors 2n3904 two leds one is green and red two capacitors of equal value 100 microfarads two resistors of same value 10 kilo ohms and you also have two resistors connected to the leds 330 ohms each the power applied is 6 volts i have the power supply connections here this is my positive this is my negative when when the power is applied you see the leds flashing alternatively now the speed of this flashing could be adjusted by changing the resistance values and the capacitance values